Hello everyone, Ernex here on Best Technology Apps and in this video I will show you how you can easily create a thumbnail using WoW Model Viewer and just generally show you how the software works and how you can utilize it to make, I mean, the best thumbnails for, of course, World of Warcraft videos because it might not work as well with other things <laughs> I mean, if you're a League of Legends player, you might not want to use this for your thumbnails. But this can also be used for Twitch layout and, well, everything else. So if you are a big either World of Warcraft YouTuber or streamer, you might uh, be able to use this. So first off, what this program does is displays various World of Warcraft NPCs and it can even display you your own character. However, that function does not work currently, but it will be fixed in future updates. So right now, what we the only thing we can actually do is like look at different objects from World of Warcraft and the NPCs from World of Warcraft. So now let's say I want to create a thumbnail for World of Warcraft video. So I know what my title is, and of course I already made the video, so I know what it's about. So let's say, well, it's just, I make these random battleground and arena videos where I just use a random NPC in either the video or the thumbnail. So let's just uh, import uh, NPC. Now, I usually actually use this one, Kingslayer Orcus. So if you have something uh, specific in mind, go to Wowhead and search for your NPC. Then just copy the link, go into your Wow Model Viewer and click up here, Character. This is where you would usually import your armory character. And for that to work, you have to find your armory link to your character. But as I just said, it currently does not work, sadly. So we're going to go to the view and then view NPC. Now, a list should pop up yeah, right here and you can find, I mean, everything. So if you're not sure what you want to actually use, just go through this, go somewhere random find Archmage Cat Carrier or Vindicator Mirad, just choose something random but if you have a specific NPC in mind click import from Earl, copy paste, well you already copied it so paste the link in and click import the results will be shown down here and if it is the right NPC you click display now we got our Kingslayer Orcus right here and we want to use him in our thumbnail so what we do is we make him do something random. Now, I would not recommend doing something like, well, let, let's take an example because it's really hard to actually explain to you. So let's take something, flying kickstart. Yeah, you can see right here, this would be fucking cool. However, let's go to another frame. This will not really uh you won't really be able to use this and most of these things you can do with your character they don't make any sense when you just take one frame so i, I recommend you well look a bit around choose some random frames and we'll get something that looks awesome however i actually haven't used this before but this looks fucking cool so let's just take this one it looks amazing so now what you want to do actually about the background if you already know that your thumbnail will be a specific color as the background and not a picture or something just click the background color and go with something like black then it will already be this however it this is the easy way i want to show you the tough way now i usually go with the white just because it's easy to differentiate the character from the background then then what you want to do is click on the save sized screenshot. Now save this somewhere where you, where you can find it. And it doesn't matter if it is a TGA uh, image, just keep it that way. Click on the save. Now what you want to do is actually increase the canvas size. Because this will, will make it much easier to actually remove the background and copy only the character into your uh, picture. So we click save. And then we go into Photoshop, import the picture. Alright, so we have our guy in here. And what we want to do is simply choose the magic eraser tool. And it should actually remove the background without any trouble at all. It looks perfect right now. And this is due to the large canvas size we chose. Now, do remember if there are some 
some parts inside the character it won't get removed unless you click again so if you get something white in here just click that as well and it will be really amazing so let's copy him so for the size you actually want to do a bit of a low canvas you want 2080 times 720 because you actually don't want the image size to be too large so just go with this one it uh, it is absolutely fine you won't need it any bigger now when you import your character or your NPC I mean uh, he is very big so you want to click on the uh, control T this will make you into the free transform and then remember to hold the shift down because that will lock the aspect so that he will not get any weird size and then just making the size you want so we'll have him here and we'll I will find a quick background just to put in the back and you can do as well just make it look a bit cooler alright so I found this picture on the wow wiki and just remove the background from your project and prioritize the layers correctly and you got this so I just noticed actually I didn't get uh, these white spots with me and as you if I, if I remove them now oh wrong picture if I remove them now you can see it actually won't be done uh, as well as it uh, did before you can see there is this white layering all all over and it is very tough to remove so I won't do it uh, just for the sake of the video but do remember to remove everything before you actually decrease the size R remember to do it all at the first try or if it it doesn't work just remove the picture start over that is actually the easiest method so we got this so let's just put on something random here get him out to the side let's write something like like oh the size is way too big battleground all right that is also a bit too big we want it in one sentence actually so if we get it out here yeah Just get it at different. No, actually, the color is far. No, it's not. Let's go with something red. Yeah, and just get the stroke on there. Just it makes it really easier uh, to s actually see if you have this outline, uh, which is called stroke. Uh, so you actually well, that is just a tip from me. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to actually notice the writing if you make the stroke. So well here you go, you got your NPC copied in on a great picture, uh, by the way the reason that you want to choose the 1280 by 720 size is actually because if you go with something bigger it will just cut it down to the 1280 times 720 uh, when you actually import it into YouTube and sometimes the picture might be too large to even import so I just most of the time I just go with the 20, uh, no, no sorry, 1280 uh, times 720 because then you won't have problems with the size and stuff like that. So, well, yeah, that was a quick video from me. Please do remember to subscribe. Now, let's get some animations in here and I will actually, sh actually show you in the next video how you can make something like this. Because I use this in my uh, normal gaming videos because I like these small effects which shows that the editor actually did something with the video. It just, it gives that small feeling to it and I really like that. So I will show you in the next video. We won't learn how to make great machinimas but this might be the step in the right direction. So do remember to click on the next video right here. And if it is not up yet, remember to subscribe to the channel and you will see it about next week. So again, well, subscribe anyway. I mean, come on. Yeah, a lot more videos will come. So yeah, once again, that was the video from me. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye bye.